Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're going to talk about subsets and proper subsets. So let's look at our set A here. The set A contains the elements A, B, and C. Now, what if I just take a couple of those elements, like B and C? So the set that just contains B and C is a subset of the set A, because B and C are in A. Now, this part seems a little confusing, but the set ABC, which is all of the elements that are in set A, that's also a subset of set A. So a subset means either all of the elements that exist in the original set are in the subset, or just some of the elements that exist in the original set are in the subset. Now, a proper subset is one that only contains some of the elements of the original set. So, B and C are a proper subset of set A. Without the line under it, that means proper subset. A, B, and C are not a proper subset of set A because that's everything we have in A. For it to be a proper subset, we have to have at least one extra element in the original set that isn't in the subset. So that's an example of subsets and proper subsets. Thanks for learning with me today. If you like this video and would like to learn more about related topics, click on any of the links below. And please remember to rate, like, or subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific questions or requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you later.